Hi, I'm Joachim for Statistics Globe and in this video I'll explain how to scale the bars of a stacked bar plot to 100%. In the video I'm going to show you several examples and all of these examples are based on the matrix that we can create with lines 2 to 5 of the code. So if you run these lines of code you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new matrix object appears which is called data. And if you click on this matrix object, you can see that a new window is opened, which is showing the structure of our matrix. And as you can see, our matrix consists of five rows and three columns, which are called crew one, crew two, and crew three. So let's assume that we want to draw these data in a stacked bar plot. Then we can apply the bar plot function, as you can see in line seven of the code. And within the bar plot function, we simply need to specify our data matrix to tell R that we want to draw this matrix in a bar plot. So if you run line seven of the code, you can see at the bottom right of RStudio that a new stacked bar plot is created, which is showing the three groups in our matrix and which is also showing the values corresponding to each group in a stacked bar plot. However, you can also see that the height of this bars is different compared to each other because these bars are not scaled to 100% yet. So if we want to scale the bars of our bar plot to 100%, then we can apply the code that you can see in line nine. And in this line of code, I'm using the bar plot function in combination with a prop table function, as you can see in the middle of line nine. So if you run the entire line, you can see at the bottom right of RStudio that our bar plot is updated. And this time the height of all bars is the same. So as you have seen in this first example, it is relatively simple to draw a stacked bar plot that is scaled to 100% using the basic installation of the R programming language. However, I want to show you a second example in which I'm using the ggplot2 package to make our bar chart even prettier. And to do that, we first need to reshape our data frame from wide to long format. And we can do that using the reshape2 package. And in order to use the reshape2 package, we first need to install and load the reshape2 package, as you can see in lines 11 and 12 of the code. I have installed the package already, so for that reason, I'm just going to load it with line 12 of the code. And after running this line of code, we are able to reshape our data to long format, as you can see in lines 14 to 16. So if you run these lines of code, a new data object appears at the top right of RStudio, which is called data long. And if you click on this data object, you can see that the structure of our data has been changed because now we have the three variables, subgroup, variable, and value. And the combination of the first two columns is always showing the value that we had stored in our input matrix before. So we can now use this data frame to draw a ggplot2 bar plot. And for that, we also need to install and load the ggplot2 package, as you can see in lines 18 and 19 of the code. I have installed this package as well. So for that reason, I'm just going to load it with line 19. So after running this line of code, we are able to use the functions of the ggplot2 package, such as ggplot and geombar. So if we want to draw a stacked bar plot with a ggplot2 package, we need to run the lines 21 to 25. So if you run these lines of code, you can see that at the top right of RStudio, a new plot object appears, which is called ggp. And we can draw this plot to the RStudio window at the bottom right by running line 26 of the code. And after running this line of code, you can see that a new plot is created at the bottom right. And you can also see that the height of the bars is already the same. So this bar plot has already been scaled to 100%. However, you can also see that the y-axis of this bar plot is not representing the percentages of our bars. And for that reason, we can add the scale y continuous function to our plot as you can see in lines 28 and 29 of the code. So if you run these lines of code, you can see that our plot is updated and now the y-axis labels are shown in percentage points. So in this video, I have shown you two examples on how to scale a bar chart to 100% using the R programming language. 
However, in case you want to learn more on this topic, you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on the homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I am explaining the R programming code that I have used in this video in some more detail and I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video. Furthermore, if you have liked the video, I would be very happy if you leave me some positive feedback in the comments and make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time. Bye bye.